Ooh. Hubby. The miracles of modern science. I want to play with my new iPad. Hey, welcome everybody. My name is Francis. My nickname is Moggy. Moggy Merrick. Um, I want to introduce to you my uh, little website, uh, www.stepsonmyroad.org. Stepsonmyroad.org. And tell you a little bit about the background behind that. 63 years old in my life, I've come across quite a few suicides. <clears throat> Recently, we had two suicides in the family that devastated everybody. And whenever I've talked to people, um, parents, relatives, uncles, aunts of people who've committed suicide, time and time again, what comes back is a sense of we had no idea. Somebody puts on this real good facade and they're actually spiraling down into this very severe depression. But nobody knows. Uh, nobody really gets peek behind the facade. And then it's too late. And then afterwards, everybody's going, what happened? So I had my brother-in-law commit suicide um, there a while ago, which staggered everybody. The same uh, night it happened, apparently, was at a football match during the day. Everybody said he acted normal. Everybody liked him. I greatly missed. I just, what happened? Then three weeks later, my son Angus committed suicide, age 24, and just devastated everybody. So um, you kind of end up kind of with that helpless feeling. You know, what can I do? I need to do something. So I set up being a blogger. I would like to call myself a writer, but a blogger anyway. I already have um, Writers Harbour is my website, and if you're interested in some of those other stories www.chopperstories.com or www.helicopterstories.com I fly a chopper, fly a helicopter, I tell stories, chopper stories. Look it up sometime. I also set up a Choose Life website um, www.stepsonmyroad.org you know, stepsonmyroad.org or .com and it's meant to be, um, it's just my vision of what I would like to have said to um, my brother-in-law and my son, if I'd known, you know, how bad they were, but, you know, I didn't. I spoke to my son on just a couple of days earlier on the phone and had a long conversation for about an hour and my eldest son talked to him and we had no idea that things were that bad. So Steps on My Road is what I would have liked to have said to my brother-in-law and to my son and I would say to anybody who's spiraling down that black hole. I'd like to say to anybody and use the medium of today's internet and technology to, you know, to just say it. And I'm nobody special, I'm just a blogger and um, I have no uh, illusions. I'm just a, you know, one of the great populists out there. But it's just my little attempt. So www.stepsonmyroad.org is predicated on two images. It's basically uh, meant to focus um, somebody who's feeling really seriously depressed, and he knows it, maybe nobody else knows it, but he knows it, is focus the mind and say, look, let's take a stream or, or a dark cave. And the stream image is very simple. You have got to make a decision whether you're going to live or not make the effort. Um, you're going to sink. So the stream, you've got to make a decision. So the symbolism of the stream is you have got to cross the stream or the raging torrent or the river, however you want to admire, imagine it. You have to make that decision and I'm hoping you'll choose life. My imp input on this is what I call stepping stones. I try and put stepping stones across the river to make it easier for you to decide to choose life. And you may only need one or two of those stepping stones because you can jump. So if you go to stepsonmyroad.org, Google seems to find it pretty good. Uh, most of the other browsers may not because it's still new. You'll see some of those stepping stones. And the same image is the image in the cave. Let's say you've really descended down into a spiral and you're in a very dark place. Nobody else maybe knows about it. You're feeling seriously depressed, maybe suicidally depressed. What you need is a tunnel uh, out of that cave. And what I try and do is offer you different tunnels and uh, different reasons to choose life. Um, and if, again, if you go to the website, you'll see the various exam uh, examples. And just to chuck out a couple of years to give you an idea of what it's like, I talk about one of the options is a ticket. We've got a ticket to ride. 
I'm 63 years old. I, I talk to some of my old buddies and they're all my vintage and we've done crazy things and crashed up motorcycles and flown helicopters and done all kinds of mad stuff. And we're all the type of guys that want to drink the cup dry. We want to get our tickets worth. We want to, you know, suck every last drop out of the whiskey bottle kind of thing. We, we just, we want to live. Uh, we want to get the last gasp. And we look back and go, wow, you know. This guy just comes to suicide, he's 24 years old, he's like 39 years younger, how, how much has he missed? Why is this happening? And we look at each other and we're simply, we have that ticket to ride instinct. We want to ride, we want to ride our motorcycles, we want to ride our helicopters, we want to ride life. We want to get our full magic, you know, experience worth of this life and nothing on earth is going to encourage us to, to quit before our appointed time. So anyway, that's Steps on My Road. I just wanted to introduce it to you. Um, suicide is an epidemic. Um, I've come across over the years many, 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 and friends of friends and uncles and relatives and kids. Suicide amongst young people is especially tragic. Um, it seems to me and it seems to a lot of us that it's becoming harder and harder for feeling sensitive young people to grow up. Um, Angus, my son, was a very feeling fellow, very, very sensitive. Everybody loved him, lots of friends, but he really, you know, was a sensitive soul. So it's becoming harder in our society for people like that to grow up. So Steps on My Road is, hey, it's just my simple attempt to, you know, give um, stepping stones or give tunnels out of the dark cave to make people think if you you know sliding into that spiral, what is it that can lift you out of that uh, bad place that you're heading into? And some of this is really what I would have loved to have said to my brother-in-law, and I would love to have been able to say to my son, had I been given the opportunity and had I known how bad things were. So that's the story there. Um, www.stepsonmyroad.org, and if you want to have a little. Um, read of my old stories www.chopstories.com I write about all kinds of, uh, all kinds of stuff some of it's serious some of it's funny some of it's slightly insane just all kinds of fun um, so we'll leave it at that this is meant as an introduction to stepsonmyroad.org and I wish you all a great day